Hello and welcome to this video where we're now going to be taking a look at how we can build up a a, um, a vertex painted material. So a vertex painted material allows us to interpret between two different uh, materials or, or diffuse textures. In case this is really good for if you want to paint uh, something like snow on a particular part of a, a mesh or or water or really whatever it is you want to uh, achieve so uh, first of all we are going to go through and uh, pull out a mesh here so we need a mesh that has uh, enough density so let's see these steps here let's look at the wireframe so this is not enough here okay so this is not gonna work for us let's see we'll need something a little bit more dense uh, that rock could be fine um, no, okay, so looks like we're going to go for uh, this rock right here. So let's uh, put this on here and give this a quick rotate. There we go. And uh, pull this out a little. There we go. Okay, so now we have our rock in, in position. Let's uh, set up our material. So we're going to go back to materials. We're going to right click. We're going to choose material. M underscore vertex. So to start off with, we're going to start off with a real simple uh, material here. So let's um, choose uh, two constant three vectors and we're going to choose two different colors here. So let's go for this red or pink, I guess. And then here we'll go for this blue. There we go. So in order for this to work, uh, we need to linear interpolate between both of these. So if we press and hold the L key, we're going to bring up that linear interpolate. We set A and B. And we need to now add what's known as a um, a vertex uh, paint. So we're going to type in vertex. And you can see we have this uh, vertex color. This is what we're looking for. And we need to select these two and uh, we need to multiply so we need to multiply this by the rgb value of uh, of the uh, vertex color and then we need to add the alpha into the alpha right here and we can plug this into uh, the base color now anytime you're going to set this up for uh, the other parts of this material here so you've got metallic uh, specular roughness etc etc you need to go through the same process for each bit so you'd have to have your say your specular um, red here and your specular blue here and you have to add um, you know the, the multiplies and, and so on and so forth so this uh, material if you're going to be using these sort of um, uh, nodes like this uh, the vertex colors then you're going to get a fairly big um, fairly big uh, network here so we're going to save this okay and uh, if we go ahead and apply this to here, you see this turns uh, entirely blue, which is uh, fine. But now if we go to the uh, paint object and uh, we want to turn off the red, green and blue. So we only have the alpha selected and we're going to get this brush and we can decrease the size here. So I'm going to say, uh, let's see, I'm going to go with around 40. Now, if we hold the left shift key and click then you can see that now we're going to paint in that red so that's uh, the very simple um, basics of this i'm going to press ctrl z and undo that and we can go ahead and start building in a uh, a more complicated material here so let's uh, go ahead and find that rock texture so i believe it's this one so let's click and uh, drag this in here and we can plug this in like so 
and inside this linear template what I'm actually going to do is add that water so if we go back to our materials and we look for the uh, water material we made so let's see where is that material there it is basic water here's what we're going to do if we go to select all and uh, actually we're not going to put this in there this is going to be a, a little bit too complicated at first so we're going to linear interpolate between say uh, this rock and we'll go with uh, we'll go with white and make this a sort of snowy texture so let's pull this up and press ok so now we have the rock and the snow so if we copy this And uh, what we can do is we can delete uh, this here and we can uh, plug the alpha into this alpha. And uh, this multiply B into here also. And what we need to do is we need to switch these out. So we're going to go with, uh, let's see. We're going to go with that rock normal. So let's see if we can find it. So we've got this. So let's select here. And put this in there. And let's just look for a normal map. that we can use for the uh, for the snow let's just find one okay so we'll, we'll use this so let's uh, go here and we can let's see you need to change this to a texture parameter so we can do that Plug this in here and delete this and then we can plug this into the normal and we'll see the, the normal information update here so now we can press save okay so yeah you can imagine that if we have uh, like the metallic and the uh the specular and, and the, the uh, translucency and stuff that we was going to do with the water then this network is going to get really really big uh, quite quickly and for the purposes of the video I don't really want to make it too long so let's close this go to materials and let's find that uh, vertex color there we go so now you can see that if we went back over here and we wanted to paint so we could decrease this to maybe uh, let's say five or something or 10 ish and we hold down the control and we can start to paint in the snow so if you look here you can get to see that there is a difference in the normal map being uh, applied to this and we can sort of paint in and this could be a nice way to paint uh, some sort of path or uh, something like that along a uh, static mesh okay it's going to give you give you much more control over for instance in this case where the snow is lying and uh, it's just a, a really nice uh, way to work when you want to add detail again this is uh, useful for um, if you want to add dirt to your assets so you can imagine the situation where you have uh, you know walls and you want to add grunge and dirt and all that sort of thing and this is a, a really nice way to uh, add that on there now if you're going to do that um, you want to start looking at um, using uh, different ways to transition between the two uh, textures here so you can see it's, it's pretty it's pretty um, 
uh, it has a nice fall off, shall I say, and uh, that may not be what you want, and uh, you'd have to go ahead and start masking, um, masking that out. But you know, for the purposes of the video, this is a very simple and easy way to set up a uh, vertex color material. We could go ahead and um, uh, do more than that. We could add uh, one texture in the red, one in the green, one in the blue, uh, blue sorry, one in the alpha, and so on and so forth, and, and really sort of build up a complex network. But for the purpose of this video, this is uh, going to be uh, uh, about all I'm going to be showing. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.